SKF pioneered the use of induction heating for bearings over 25 years ago. After consulting many users, the current bearing heater range not only has class-leading performance, but is designed ergonomically for ease of use. The standard range consists of three heaters, whilst larger heaters are custom-made to suit the application. The SKF Small Induction Heater, TIH-30M, which can heat a 30 kilogram bearing in 20 minutes. The SKF Medium Induction Heater, TIH-100M, which can heat a 100 kilogram bearing in 20 minutes. And the SKF Large Induction Heater, TIH-220M, which can heat a 220 kilogram bearing in just 20 minutes. SKF induction heaters can also be used to heat other workpieces such as gears or pulleys. For large applications, a range of custom-made heaters is available. Let's look at the SKF heaters in further detail. The coil is on the outside for maximum efficiency. Fold-out legs safely support the bearing. A remote control box is incorporated to enhance user safety. Internal yoke storage is also available. By using the selection chart, it's easy to choose the right heater for your needs. Let's follow a technician in his daily work and see how the induction heater helps make mounting bearings easy. To get the best from the SKF bearing heater, always read the instructions for use before use. Pay particular attention to the safety warnings to keep you and others around you safe. Check that the heater is suitable for the supply voltage before use. If OK, then plug the heater in. First, remove the yoke and fold out the legs. Position the bearing to be heated around the coil. Carefully replace the yoke on the uprights. Finally, attach the temperature probe to the inner ring of the bearing. For bearings or workpieces that do not fit over the coil, simply position them on the largest yoke possible, making sure that the yoke rests properly on the uprights. Then, remove the remote control from the heater. Switch on the heater and observe the display segment check and warning tone. The default heating temperature is 110 degrees Celsius, but can easily be adjusted by the user. Here, we will use the default temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. Retire a safe distance from the bearing heater and then press the start button. The bearing will start to heat up and the actual temperature can be seen on the remote control. When the bearing inner ring has reached the required temperature, the heater will stop and give a visual indication and warning tone. The bearing is also automatically demagnetized at the end of the heating cycle. If you decide to leave the bearing on the heater, it will automatically start reheating the bearing when the temperature drops by 10 degrees Celsius. The bearing is now heated to the correct temperature and can now be mounted. First, press the stop button. Using heat resistant gloves provided with the heater, remove the temperature probe and the yoke. Remove the bearing and place directly on the shaft. The bearing will cool down and a strong interference fit will result. SKF induction heaters offer many advanced features and possibilities. SKF heaters are very fast and efficient, but for some bearings, you need to heat them slowly. Bearings with small internal clearances, such as C1 and C2, brass cages, preloaded, or those fitted on the smallest yoke should be heated slowly. This can be done by simply pressing the power button to select 50% power. As a safety feature, 
If the temperature probe is not mounted correctly, or if the workpiece temperature does not increase rapidly enough, then an error code is displayed. For heating large workpieces, such as gear wheels and pulleys, you can choose to set the heater to operate at a predetermined time whilst monitoring the temperature. Before heating, just press the mode button and the mode toggles to time. The required time can then be installed in units of 0.1 of a minute. Then heat the workpiece as usual. For some markets, Fahrenheit is preferred as a temperature unit. It's easy to display the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Simply press mode and up to toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. You have seen that the SKF range of induction heaters are not only fast, efficient and easy to use, but are designed and built with safety and ruggedness in mind. For more information on SKF induction heaters or any SKF maintenance product, just contact your local authorized SKF distributor or SKF office or visit our website.